Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Adrian here, and I'm going to be doing a winter day to night makeup look for you guys. And you guys might be thinking, oh, it's early November, how can it be winter already? And I'm like, I'm just thinking, well, over here in Canada, it's already snowing. Wait, actually, you can't even see it. It's like washed up. Can you see that? It's snowing. Okay, you can't see it. Never mind. Anyways, it's already winter where I live, so I'm just going to be doing this kind of video. Hope you guys will enjoy, and if you want to see how to do a day to night winter makeup look, then keep watching. We are starting out with a moisturizer. I keep wanting to say foundation, a moisturizer um, to start out the day look. Now, moisturizer is really important to apply throughout the year, but it's really most important to apply during the winter time because the cold weather and the winter air is just not healthy for your skin and it'll really dry it out even if you have some oily skin. Um, please moisturize. Next, I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Foundation all over my face with a beauty blender because um, this will just give you coverage and this is optional if you don't really need it, but also I recommend the beauty blender and this foundation because they're both really good. Beauty blender just gets rid of oils and applies it evenly and the foundation is very true to your color and like the matte, it matches very well and it's very light and easy to apply. <laughs> um, next, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder along with the cute little fan brush that comes with it. If you are interested in getting this, then I will link Ipsy down below because they have that in their bags. So this is really, really cute and I love it. Next, take a blush to just add some color and life to your face. But in the winter time, maybe your cheeks already get really red. Um, but if that's you, then you really don't really need blush, right? Um, but I think this blush is really pretty from icing. Um, <clears throat> sorry for my throat, guys. I don't know what's happening. But um, next, I'm taking some medium brown eyeshadow and just applying this into my eyebrows to fill all, fill in all the bald spots and such. Um, because this really just defines your eyes or defines your eyebrows and frames your eyes because it's just a really cute look and I personally think that this looks really good. Um, and then I'm just combing it out with a spoolie or disposable mascara wand. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Eyelid Primer. And I've used this so many times, guys. You've seen it before. Just do the, you know, normal priming drill. Apply that all over your eye and then blend it out. And next, I'm taking the um, Be A Bombshell uh, eye base in submissive and if you want to get this I will also I will be linking ipsy down below if you want to get it um, but yeah it's a really nice golden bronze light champagne um, eye base that you can just apply for on its own or you know with with eyeshadow or as a base but I personally love it I think it's really awesome and it stays on. Next I'm using my Quo palette to get this cute um, gold color and just apply that on the outer corner and inside the crease because this will really just define your eyes and add a cute fall smoke, barely smoky look to it. Um, next I'm taking the Shu Umura eyelash curler and applying mascara and I'm using the um, Too Faced Lash Injection. You know this is my favorite guys, you've seen me use it. So there it is. Um, I'm applying that to complete the eyes and I'm just applying some EOS lip balm and some Starlooks nude lip gloss. So that is the day look guys. Let's move on to the night look. For the night look we're going to keep that same makeup but I'm going to be using the Quo palette again and taking a shimmery white and applying that onto the inner third. And then a dark eggplanty purple shimmery color on the outer corner with a little pencil brush. This will add some definition and a bit of a pop of color. Blend that out into your crease just so there's no more harsh lines. Um, this is just a really, really nice pretty purple color and it's not going to be too crazy either. Next, I'm going to be taking a little round blendy brush and I'm going to be taking a dark bronze brown color and applying that onto the outer corner of my crease and blending it in towards the center 
just to add more definition and smokiness to the look and I feel like this completes it so much. Next, I'm taking the Elizabeth Mott, Elizabeth Mott You're So Fine Glitter Eyeliner um, and applying this um, in a wing. Now, guys, this is a glitter eyeliner. If you are interested, you can go to ipsy.com, which will be linked in the down bar, and get this. Because this stuff is so awesome, it's so fabulous and fun, and it really just glides on. Super easy to use, and it is so cute. Glitter eyeliner. It's a thing, guys. It's a thing. Is my eyeliner even for the first time in my life? Next, I'm taking the golden bronze color again and just running this along my lower lash line just so it's not too top heavy, you know what I mean? Like, so it's a little more smoky down there too. Um, next, I'm going to be taking some EOS lip balm and some JCAT Wonder Lip Paint and it's just this really pretty hot pink raspberry color and it looks so good with the bronze I'm just saying so cute and I'm just applying that with a lip brush so it's really precise and I love this look the night look is really fabulous and I hope you guys liked it too thanks for watching oh my gosh guys thank you so much for 820 plus subscribers you guys are amazing by a thousand subscribers, there will be an awesome giveaway for you guys, so don't you forget to tell your friends to subscribe. Anyways, thank you for watching. Ta-ta!